Former Massachusetts governor and former 2016 Libertarian vice presidential nominee Bill Weld announced yesterday he's going to primary President Trump. Now many have wondered if a more moderate traditional GOP candidate would step up to challenge Trump. But primarying a sitting president is hardly traditional. The last true in-party fighting against a sitting president came all the way back in 1992 when Pat Buchanan challenged George H.W. Bush winning 23% of the vote but zero states. Now Bush did go on to lose the general election. And this time, Weld says supporting Trump was out of the question. Uh, I, I could not support Donald Trump for president. I'm not saying I would ever endorse a Democrat uh, in this race, but uh, I could not support the president. Now, prior to 1992, primaries became more common, like in 1980 when Ted Kennedy challenged sitting President Jimmy Carter, winning more than a third of the vote and famously refusing to shake Carter's hand on the stage at the convention. Carter went on to lose the general election to Ronald Reagan in that November. And Reagan himself primaried Gerald Ford in 1976, and while he didn't win, he weakened Ford enough for the general election, which Ford went on to lose. Now, there is little precedent for a primary challenger unseating the president, and polls suggest Weld might not even reach 10%, but there are clear signs that it could weaken President Trump as he prepares for the general election in November 2020. Chris and Anna, back to you guys.